and Sean, I uh, never heard uh, anything about Sean with you before. What, what made you think uh, Sean? Oh, it's only like nobody. But he's not like, he's, you well, know, I mean, you know, I'll probably walk to the bathroom. I, I think he's with Jed on that and do, but um, he, years ago in 88, yeah, uh, we left Florida. I couldn't get in Continental because they brought the Midnight Rockers into Continental. Shawn Michaels, Marty Gennetti. They got fired. Uh, something happened in a bar. They worked for WWF. They'd left Burn, you know, AWA. Something happened. I don't know, you know, what happened. All I know is Robert Ford, Robert, Ford, Robert brought in Shawn and Marty, which they just come off Burns TV, ESPN, and of course they'd been on WWF TV in the Continental, you know. So I was supposed to go in with Steve and come back, uh, come, uh, you know, with the with the, uh, the Rebel gimmick, you know, and as a team, well, that got exonated because they come about. So something in there, and back then, Rock and Roll Express was still kind of hot, you know, and he didn't, people didn't really like copying the gimmicks, and down south. You know, and they were, of course, a great team. You know, unbelievable. You know, two or three things they did, we stole. <laughs> you know, Stevie and I, you know, I mean, but uh, uh, they weren't over so much down south in Alabama. They were over in Knoxville more and did because people kind of, they're great workers, but the gimmick, copying kind of Rock and Roll Express, kind of like, like, like Fabulous Ones and Fantastics kind of did, but Fantastics were great workers, but they always had good runs too. Fantastic, always did. But uh, people kind of did that. And, and uh, uh, Ronnie West, who kind of ran it, was Bob's boss, Bob was booking. And uh, and Robert, well, Bob was helping with it. And Robert, of course, was a man, you know, but Robert Ford, but uh, uh, Something, as a rib, made fun of a, a kid who was one of the sponsors' kid, and he put something on there, something like queers are people too, something like that. And Ronnie told Bob to fire them, you know. So he did. They walked out. So Bob called me, and we come down, and, 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 and uh, Steve was already working in there with them, and they put us back together as a team. And I think he kind of took it personal. I had nothing to do, I didn't even know him. You know, I, I, I knew he was, but I, I never met him. And uh, uh, I think there was some heat with that. And he had some heat with him and Bob, maybe, you know. And, uh, you know, and, and uh, he'd said some things about, you know, Steve, me, and, and Bob over the years after that. But uh, uh, when I got in there in 96, I can remember Candido. That all happened with Sonny, Sean, thing with X, X Pac, like, shit on her sandwich or something i don't know so. yeah we've heard, we actually heard this story uh yeah yeah i don't know apparently what. xbox admitted it yeah whatever happened with well, that had not been long i was just starting so a lot of, you know a lot of heat with uh sean chris you know and a lot of guys would avoid him because then we get hit with sean and i didn't look at it like that he's my friend you know and uh, chris so i'd hang with him because so i'd piss him you know and, and i'm sitting there i'm just talking with him and nobody would not many guys would really with Chris a little bit, you know, and Sonny was doing her thing and whatever, and I don't know if they were still messing around, I don't know, you know. Um, went none of my business. Yeah, that's right, because Sonny has told stories that apparently her and Sean were a serious right. item. Yeah, yeah. Including having sex backstage, apparently. Right, right. Going and, on and trips. Overseas you know. and everything. Yeah, going on trips and, and, and whatever was going on with that, and I don't know what any But I just told him, Chris, just in the dressing room hanging, and I heard Sean go, yeah, white boy was talking to him. He had the plumber again, and then, but white boy and him, white boy knew him better than me. And uh, uh, Tony, and, and he goes, yeah, he goes, Bob Ar Ronnie West told Bob Armstrong to fire me because I said that you know put the, wrote the thing on the kid's back. Yeah. And he said he hired uh, he hired Smothers down there, Tracy Smothers down there, and his son to take our place, like that. And, then, and he said something derogatory toward Bob. You know, not just this is in the cafeteria. No, it was in the dressing room. Oh, the dressing room. And I, he's in one end, and I'm we're all clear on the other end. He kind of sitting, everybody's just sort of, oh, you know, stop, you know, and uh, uh you know, Chum was the man, you know. And, and uh, I guess this is less than 10 years later. At this 96, yeah, so, yeah less than 10 years. years. That was 88. This okay. is 96, yeah, so about eight years, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and I looked and I went, 
well, that ain't cool. I don't care if he trashes me. He can try. Don't don't trash Bob. I said, so I still go up to him, walk around just talk with him, you know. And he was heading out. He had to be single the ring because do you remember when they did the thing and they put all the stuff on Sonny? The Godwins dumped the buckets yeah. on her. There was spit, piss, all kind of tobacco spit, tobacco juice, you know, whatever you want, cigarettes in that thing, every time, all kind of stuff in that. that guys were, uh, you know, because Henry Godwin walked in and goes, we're going to swap Sonny tonight. And everybody, guys were dead because she had heat with a lot of people. She did. And, uh, um, I, you know, all that's going on, you know, and it ain't none of my business. I don't, I ain't, I was, before I got there, I don't know nothing about it. It ain't none of my business. You know how it is. You know, and, and I, you know, you know, I, I was cool with it. But anyway, he was heading to go do that. And uh, he, he did so put a cake in her face or something. And I can remember I says to, I, I says to him, and I just went to him, I said, hey, Sean, I said, whatever happened, Mike, years ago, six, eight, ten years ago, that was the end, dude. I, I had nothing to do. I was just working. You know, I guess I'll stop it. Like I did. And he just kind of walked off, you know, and he knew he had heat with him, you know. And plus, he was, he was, uh, something happened with him and Jimmy. They got into it about something. And there was heat with him and Cornette, you know, so.